be honest here. The reason I was suspended, the only reason I was suspended was David Hayward. And you won't let me back on the force unless I agree to stop hounding him. You were suspended because you broke rules. You used your position and a great deal of taxpayer money to advance some personal agenda. I mean a mistake that will never happen again. Okay, so you admit you abused your power as chief. Yes. So, if I were to reinstate you, I'd have your word that this issue won't come up, that, that, that from now on you'll dedicate yourself and the resources of this department to legitimate police work. Well, that's what I do best. If you're willing to take that pledge and you're willing to reform your behavior, I'll think about it. I'll let you know. Thank you, Mayor. Well, that was hard. Oh, what a hypocrite. So, so proud of you. You did it. It, it took a lot, but you did it. <laughs> and for damn good reason. The best reason in the world. Right over there. <laughs> What, what are you doing? I want you to sit down, relax, put your feet up. I'm going to make you a gourmet lunch. So when did you learn how to cook? Uh, see, now that's what this is for. Ah, uh, mm. you see. Mm. That's sweet, honey, but I'm not hungry. You know, your father is so worried about how this is all going to shake out. But I'm not. And how is that possible? You know how. You're a doctor. We see people exceed our expectations every day. Hard work, patience, faith. Faith can take you further than we ever thought possible. You know, when I got back from Iraq and my hands were really messed up, you gave me a hard time. But you were right there. You've always been there for me. So now it's my turn. You want to know what you can do for me? Name it. You can go back to your own life. Do good work. Be with Randy. I mean, she's been traveling. You need time together. Mom. You asked me what you could do. And that's my answer. All right. I'll go, but don't think I'm not coming back. You better come back. Because I learned my persistence from you. I love you. I love you, too. Keeping an eye on your mother. She was nauseous. I took her home. Who's with her? No one. She wouldn't let me stay. Damn it, Frankie. Dad, you just can't. Just did. From now on, I'll just keep the crackers in the fridge. How are you doing? Yeah, me too. We're both in the dark. About to start a whole new life. I tell you what. Since we're in the same boat, how about we make a deal, okay? I will always protect you. Okay, I think we got it. 
Very good. You know, together we can do anything. They're much more than step ladders. You know, I know you're not even here yet, but I've got a feeling that you're going to help me appreciate even more everything that I have. All the gifts that I'm blessed with. Loving husband, beautiful children, wonderful career. any idea what you have to look forward to because the Hubbards are the coolest family there is that's right you are one lucky baby but you know what you're not as lucky as me because I get to welcome you into the world can't beat that you okay I had a little scare, but I'm fine now. What happened? Well, I got hungry. And you know, you can't stop a pregnant woman when she's hungry. You didn't try to. Yeah, I did. I had an episode while I was up on the stepladder. Oh, Frankie, damn Frankie. He shouldn't have left you alone. No, baby, I'm glad he did. Listen, my first instinct was to reach for the phone. But then I took a deep breath, and I said, I can handle this. And I did. Alone. Well, uh, not entirely alone. <laughs>